Is this a ministry group? Is this a recovery group or something I'm looking at? Yeah? It just felt that way. Good. Proud of you guys. Don't ever look back and don't ever give up. Amen? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Keep growing in Him and put on that new fresh identity in Christ. And don't get frustrated. Keep you, don't feel like, well, I ain't getting it. This ain't working. That's a sign. That's, that's the spiritual adversity. Don't let yourself get frustrated. That's never cool. It's never, it's never okay. It's the first thing that happens. How easy it is in our life to just get irritated. That's a sign of demonic activity trying to get you out of focus, out of purpose, out of... I'm telling you, fight against it. Keep each other out of that thing. Encourage each other. Cheer each other on. Iron sharpen iron, okay? I just feel this in my heart. I'm not talking to any specific man. I'm talking to the whole group. Frustration and feeling irritated and short-fused, I'm promising you, is a sign, a real early sign of just deception. And just know you're not created for that and you're not called to that. The blood of Jesus was shed for you guys because you're worth it. Whoever paid a whole lot for something that wasn't worth what they paid. They, nobody bought a car. Anybody a car dealer? Don't be ashamed. <laughs> anybody a car salesman? Because they get a bad rap like they're, like they're bad people. But it's actually the consumer trying to rake them down, get their commission, take them rock bottom, get the best buy. You know us guys, we go buy a car, we think we got the best deal in town. We're strutting home. We're like, I knocked that guy down. He ain't going to eat for two months. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, look, look. See, ain't that what we do? So, so the price tag's 13.9. 13.9. So what do we do? Well, oh, man. I'll give, watch, watch, watch. I'll give you, I'll give you 12.2 and you absorb the taxes and the transfer fees and because in your mind, you already got figured 11.9. Because you're figuring already, you've been told they make 2,000 commission automatic. So you're trying to get that back. Ain't that what we do? So whoever walked into the car lot, and the car says 13.9. And you said, dude, that's a nice car. Oh, that's a real nice car. You Kelly Blue Book and it right in the lot. Wow. Blue Book says, says 14. And you got it 13.9. Kelly Blue Book says 14. You're right in the ballpark, dude. But you picked it up at auction. You got that thing low, man. You're, you're making commission. That's what you, and you're telling him, right? But whoever walked in and said 13.9. Kelly Blue Book says 14. That's a nice car. That's a real nice car, man. See? Kelly Blue Book, 14, 13.9. It's really fair. Just pay it, man. Straight up. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 15. <laughs> Who's ever done it? Nobody, Every, any car dealer that would not be ashamed to be a car dealer would say, nobody did that. <laughs> Why? Here's the point I'm making. When you finally write the check, what do you believe in? That what you're purchasing is definitely well worth the price or you wouldn't have paid it. And all our life, all we hear is he died because we're sinners. He died because we're sinners. He died because we're sinners. And we think that's so right. He had to die because we sinned. He didn't die because we're sinners. He died to redeem the lost. He died to save us. He died to restore us. Nobody pays a high price for something they don't believe is worth it. The possess the purchase possession has to be worth it to the buyer. And my whole life, nobody talked to me about that. And when I preach it, there's a whole bunch of people out there listening, listening. Heretic, blasphemy, died for our value. We're like worms in the dirt. He died because we're sinners. We should be glad we're saved and he even considers us. And they have no ability to even hear what I'm saying. But it don't matter because he died for my value. He died to restore me. He died because I was a lost son. He didn't die because I was a sinner. He had to die. My sin cost him death. But the purpose of his death was the redemption of my life, not just the forgiveness. And ain't no preacher on the earth ever told me that Jesus died to restore my purpose, destiny, and value. Guys, he died to restore what you're created for. 
Not just to forgive what you did. Amen. To turn you into the men he created you to be. So you can pick up now on level ground and have a present and things to come and live that thing till the day you're with Jesus and take a legacy to the throne. <laughs> yeah? Woo! And the only reason I'm focused on the men because that word's for everybody. Because when you come from a background like they came from, there's so many lies involved, flashbacks, memories, and voices. And there's a whirlwind of emotions. And if they ain't producing life, that's a good barometer. They ain't from the Lord. Y'all good?